Okay, finally got to see Avengers Endgame. And let me say one thing. Big middle finger. It's like, yes, a big middle finger to the bastard ass that had a thumbnail of Captain America. Spoiler, but the bastard did it too. The bastard actually has it right there on his thumbnail of Captain America holding the Thor's hammer Mjolnir. So it's like, yeah, thank you, bastard. Thank you for that crap. Thank you so much, bastard. I'm going to most likely hunt down for your video and thumbs it down because you're a bastard ass. What the fuck? Because that was like no freaking damn surprise. Where it's like, oh, instead, you ruined that thunder. Good job, bastard. Good fucking job, man. It's like you would figure, oh, even Marvel themselves actually spoiled the damn movie. And it's like, no, they they did a little bit showing hoked out version of, well, technically they showed Professor Green or Professor Hulk, but that wasn't too bad. I made sure, they showed it for the first three seconds. I was able to get out of the way. The next one, of course, sadly, they showed the rescue armor that I really wanted ever since Iron Man 3, but hey, it's better like never, right? But I'm just going to say, <laughs> that guy, that freaking guy, I'm going to look for that video, and I'm going to thumbs down the video, most likely comment down below saying, thanks a lot, you bastard. You ruined that moment. You ruined that moment. And also a big middle finger on YouTube. It's like, dude, please, for the love of God, put, yes, when I click on YouTube app, make it freaking subscriptions, because I know the subscriptions, the guys I follow, they won't spoil crap. And I say thank you so much for everyone I actually follow. Thank you so much. But that bastard ass right there, I'm going to look for him. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to give him a freaking new one. Because what the fuck, man? You ruined that surprise. You ruined it. Anyways, what you guys can figure is that this is definitely a spoiler. Not going to give like a spoiler-free version of this. This is going to be spoilers. This is going to be speculations. And nice little shameful shame a shame full plug of Power Rangers Beast Mode for speculation. I speculated from episode one to episode eight. You could definitely go check that out because that is also oh, I technically another one because this is where I have to tell you that of course someone guessed right. There was time travel. There was five year gap. But of course it's kind of funny. They really went crazy where they were like, yeah, and Scott Lang's daughter, she's gonna join in. Sure. Nope, she sure didn't. She sure didn't. You guessed wrong, Bucky boy. You guessed wrong. <laughs> but it's amazing. And it's like, hey, Sony. So Sony. 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 Pay attention. This is how you do years later. Because they take you to do years later, but they did five years later because they are precise. For your ass, you needed to just say years later. That's what you needed to say. And freaking Spider-Man Homecoming. That's what you needed to freaking damn say. But to say you had to calculate being like, uh, eight years later. I think that's right. Is that right? I think that's right. It's like, yeah, you fricked it up, bastard. You fricked that crap up. You fricked it up. Majorly fricked it up. But anyways, it was a fun movie i enjoyed it i think i'm still in awe and still in shock i actually went to eat lunch and i was checking my right hand and my right hand was shaking as for tears no tears were not shed they i didn't shed any tears so it's like yay i'm more manly than anyone even though it's like that's not right to say it was like yeah i guess to say it though no tears were shed and, well, if it's like, oh, yeah, you're so manly, you didn't cry. It's like, well, here's one good one. I did actually shed tears in Hunger Games when Rue was killed. Because Rue, Rue actually can remind me of a daughter I would have someday. When Rue was killed, there was many who actually told me when they were looking at me that my hair was turning from black to golden or blonde and my eyes were changing. So... I was actually almost going to become a super saiyan at that point. There's many who are like, oh my gosh, dude. 
we need to make sure that he's okay because oh my gosh, he's about to freaking just start wrecking shit. <laughs> it's like I was fine, I was able to control myself, but for a few minutes, I freaking was close to losing it. I was close to actually just becoming something that the world says that's not real. Yes, I was straight up becoming Super Saiyan. I was freaking damn doing it. This, not really. And it's cool that, holy crap, Tony Stark has a daughter. Morgan is like, hmm, is that in the comics? And it's like, no, all I can remember is that TV show wise, he in Iron Man Armored Avengers, he did actually have a grandson or great grandson. Yeah, he had one of those. I just didn't know anything about. Did he have a daughter? Or I'm not sure. I think this is like what happened when it came to X-Men Apocalypse, where they actually decide to say, oh, yeah, well, Magneto got a daughter. And it's like he did have a daughter at some point, but this is different types of daughters, different period. All right. So back to the movie. The movie was excellent. It was great. It was perfect. It was awesome. They actually went time traveling and it was cool. It was kind of like a heist video, a heist movie. But the crazy part about that is like, but why in the world you didn't say what it was? Dude, it was a time jump. That's what you were doing. You were doing a time jump. It was kind of crazy watching as if it was South Park. It was like, it's a witch thingy. It's a witch hunt down thingy. It's a witch pursuit thingy. It's like, Time jump. Say it with me. Time jump. So, how did the time jump work? How did how did it work when it comes to this? There's so many threads that are freaking, like, not touched upon. But thanks to Variant Comics, which that's one of the ones that's like, yeah, thumbs up, dude. You didn't spoil it for me. Like the bastard ass over there with the whole, hey, look, we have Captain America holding the freaking hammer. It's like... I wish you got freaking copyrighted and flagged, you bastard. I wish you did. Anyways, it's like, anyways, continuing to hate, hate, hate on him. He actually said that one of the things that's like, what the fuck is Loki still has to Tesseract. Yeah, because, well, it's, it's interesting. Like, all of them was inter intricate. They did... Three types, three movies. They did three movies, three ways of going back. Yeah, Team A, Team B, and Team C. Team A went to Avengers, the original movie, in 2012, and they went to go get the Tesseract, <clears throat> the Scepter, Loki's Scepter, and also the Time Stone. Time Stone successful. Mind Stone successful. But of course, wow, it's crazy that's. <laughs> my gosh that was so awesome where I was like oh it's the big payback he's gonna beat the crap out of all the ones that are in the freaking um, elevator they're all gonna get their asses whooped because they jumped him yeah they jumped him when he wasn't ready for them and he still was able to beat the crap out of them this time around he's able to kick all their asses and he knows it but they don't know it unlike the previous time where they knew it but he didn't know it he, he got to the point of knowing it, of course, but it's like, at first it was like, what the hell is going on here? Now this time it's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they all like, oh, what the fuck? But instead, they did the most craziest twist ever, where it's like, Hell Hydra. Oh my gosh. I have to admit, when it comes to that timeline, I wonder how the frick that's going to work out. But of course, we'll never, we'll see that, how that works out, so... Oh, well, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we don't know what is going on here. And well, oh, yeah, he actually blanked the mind of the Captain America, that one. So he did blank the mind of him, but he said, Lo I found Loki. So it's kind of like chances are you could actually just piece together and just say, oh, Loki stole his scepter back. It's like, yeah, there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> it's like, problem solved. And it's like, wait a minute. How the freak did Loki actually... It's like, what the fuck? It's like, yep, well, Loki is freaking smart. He's smarter than all you bastards. <laughs> so, it's kind of crazy how it's intricate. And it looks like they showed us, like, the behind the scenes of what happened after. I mean, you know, where they posed and said... And Loki's like, I'm going to get my drink now. It's like, we got to see that afterwards. And that was cool. And it's kind of crazy how you had... Hulk going down the stairs, and Hulk is the one that really screwed up everything, where Loki got the Tesseract. Loki just uses the Tesseract and teleports himself away. 
damn it that's one of the ones that's like oh what the fuck's gonna happen here which thank you variant comics they actually he actually said that there's gonna be a disney plus tv show of loki so apparently that's where we're gonna see that comes out so that's how we're gonna see that play is out so okay there we go so that's team a team b did great team yeah, Team B did great, which is of course Thor and Rocket Raccoon, which it went out with a bang. It was it was pretty easy. Team C, Group C, Team C, that went sideways. One of them went well, actually they both were successful, but it went kind of sideways because Nebula got knocked out, and it looks like you know Nebula didn't even think about oh we have the same frequencies. I need to change my frequency, you know, something like that. Basically, she should have already thought of that. It's like, Thanos knows that she's out there, or she he doesn't know that she blanked out. Actually, no, he does. He does know that she didn't blank out. So it's kind of like, you would figure he would be like, yes, well, I'm still, I still know a little bit of talk technology, and I have this device that actually will teach you a lesson. It's like, well, you know she's going to come for your ass. So you figure he would have something that actually will distort her and make her say, oh, my head. So it's like you would figure she would be like, oh, fuck. So she would change her frequency on her freaking damn mind. You would figure that's one thing she would do as a fail safe just in case. But that never occurred. So that's why it went sideways. But they got the freaking power stone. Awesome. They got the soul stone. And I thought the soul stone. It would be Hawkeye who sacrifices his life. But instead. Nope. It was Black Widow. She actually killed herself. For the greater good. For the greater good. And I'm like. Oh what the fuck. But it's like. They said they're going to get the stones. And they're going to bring the stones back. And this is where it comes to the big turbulence. Of where it's like. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. They're going to bring back the Soul Stone. They want the Soul Stone, but they're going to bring it back. So if they're going to bring the Soul Stone back, how exactly can you keep her life? You said a soul for a soul, right? So um, you're giving me a Soul Stone back, you bastard. That means <laughs> Black Widow has to come back. I know as a people are like, oh, but that doesn't signify well if she comes back. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like where it's like, I'm going to trade you for a week. Let's do this. I'm going to trade you for a week, right? Let's say Pokemon, because I love Pokemon. Let's say I have Pokemon. Let's go Eevee. My friend has Let's Go Pikachu. We trade, okay? We trade. And then when the week is up, we trade back. But for some reason, I don't get my Let's Go Eevee back. Instead, he gets to have both of the copies, and I have nothing. Does that make sense? I'm just saying, does that make sense? The correct answer is fucking no. It's like, yeah, that's kind of a messed up thing. It's like, lots of people are like, but it symbolizes she did a greater sacrifice. And it's like, yeah, but think of it as in another way. It technically is kind of a bullshit move where it's like, oh, so you're going to keep the soul stone and you're going to keep her soul too? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? That's messed up. No. No, she gets to come back. It's like, if you give the Soul Stone back, don't tell me it's like, oh, it's a pay-to-play, but it's like, oh, you can keep it as long as you want, but as soon as you give it back, well, you're giving it back, and frick you, we're not going to return the person that you killed because you just need it for a certain amount of time. It's like, yeah, for you, it's a freaking damn second. It's like, oh, yeah, but we're going to still keep our soul. It's like, what the fuck? No. Uh, 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 uh. So it's like, it gets very, very bullcrap where I'm like, yeah, that's really seriously bullcrap, man. I'm sorry, but that's some bullcrap. If you give the Soul Stone back, you technically need to actually be like, oh, oh, you're giving it back? Oh, he didn't think of that. Well, okay, well, fuck it. Okay, here's here she is. <laughs> it's like, that's how it should be. But apparently, no, that's not how it goes. So apparently, it's like... I don't get my Let's Go Eevee. My friend gets to keep both copies. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, again, it's like thinking it like that away. It's kind of bullcrap. You want to say, oh, but her life is meaningless if she actually comes back. But I'm like, but dude, do you really actually want to do the same way? You want the same deal as her? Do you want the same deal as her or as Hawkeye? You want the same deal? Because that's kind of bullcrap. 
serious he is. Serious he is. It's kind of bull crap. Anyways, so that's about that. That's all that. And then it gets even crazier where it's like, oh, well, he knows the same signal. And it's like, oh, the same signal. And then he be like, okay, let's look into the other one's memory. And then it's like, well, now we're going to jam it. So it's like she's going to be stuck here. And then they grabbed her. And then, oh, he's going to now use the whole entire ship to go into the future, I guess, in quotations, future. And now he's going to get all the Affinity Stones because it's like, oh, you guys gathered it for me. I thank you. Give it to me. But, of course, first things first is they got all the Affinity Stones. Tony Stark actually decided to be like, oh, well, I'm going to make my own Infinity Gauntlet. And he sure did. And, well, they had to decide who's going to use it. And, of course, it was Hulk. Hulk used it. And everyone came back, and it's like, all right, everyone came back because notice that how guy's wife, she's calling. It's like, it's a freaking damn miracle, freaking awesome. <laughs> it's like freaking awesome. So <clears throat> then, of course, Thanos shows up. He freaking just shoots and fires missiles, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then it gets very crazy where it's like the three go and fight. And oh my gosh, I didn't even mention this, but Thor, Thor got fat and Thor actually got Mjolnir, so he's double wielding. And I'm like, yes, double gun, gunning, duble, duble. And we don't really get much of that. It's like we got some of it, but I kind of would have liked to have him a little bit let loose, just a little bit. There's a little bit of a moment to let loose. That's all I wanted. And of course, um, Variant Comics, he want well, he's not. Oh my gosh, it still kept going. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Good, good phone. Good phone. So, anyways, uh, where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, Thanos and all that crap. So, oh, yeah, double wielding. Yeah, and of course, I was about to say for my goodness, I hope it's not going to be repeating. Anyways, I was hoping that, no, he was hoping that um, Hulk would have some retribution, but it's like, I don't think that could work. You wanted Hulk to actually have some um, redemption when he came to fighting Thanos, but the thing is, is that they fuse together now. It's like, what exactly you expect is going to happen? I mean, yeah, th I mean, Hulk could all of a sudden just turn savage. It's like, I get control one second, and he just goes starting beating the holy sh out of freaking th Thanos. But sadly, that's not how it works because. Hulk is like he's done. I mean, the the Hulk side, the Savage side, he's done, man. He he's just he's done. I mean, I don't know what to tell you here. It's like he's just done. He as soon as he got beaten, it's like Hulk is best in the rest, and it's like, well, Thanos just beat him down, man. I mean, that hurt his ego so damn badly, and I don't think Hulk can even show up anymore. Not to say that Hulk can't, it's just that, can I sidestep and talk about the very beginning of the movie, where they actually went to where Thanos was, and <laughs> they had a little bit of a brawl, even though Thanos wasn't at his prime, and it's like, well, <laughs> it was kind of funny, where I was like, the end, and it's like, five years later, <laughs> it was funny if it would have been like, the end, I bet everyone would have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, I kept on saying in the theater that Thanos, you're a dumbass idiot. Thanos, you're a dumbass idiot. Thanos, you're a dumbass idiot. Going back in time to get the thing. And this is where I got to the point of being like, well, they're doing Dragon Ball Z rules, man. And they're like, no, no, we have our own rules. It's like, dude, it's Dragon Ball Z rules, okay? I've seen this, okay? I finally got to see all Dragon Ball Z. I did my whole entire spiel. Actually, no. Yeah, I mean, I saw Dragon Ball Z, but when it comes to the final chapters, that dealt with Boo Saga. Anyways, what we're dealing with is looking at Cell Saga for a minute. Cell Saga, it was all over the place of this time machine stuff. And, of course, eventually you'll find out in Dragon Ball Super that, dude, it's not the future. It's actually alternate world. That's why I call them alternate world trunks, not future trunks anymore. I call them alternate world trunks. Because what he did in the past did not change his future, did it? So that's exactly what's going on here, where it's like, 
they can't change the past. They can't change what happened in the past. And they know that, unlike with Trunks, future trunks at this point he just went back in time and hoped that he could actually do it but all he did was just help the main timeline move forward instead of becoming this horrible s-hole let's say s-hole that his world turned into so it's like yeah that's the same exact deal and it's like Daniels, you're a dumbass you just now going to go right here so that means the other timeline where he jumped from they are going to have more smooth sailing than the one here because Technically, when it comes to this one now, it's like no one's going to be looking for the Affinity Stones. I mean, most likely same thing is going to happen before, but there's not going to be any Thanos. There's not going to do any Thanos to deal with anything. That means for um, Xandar, which Xandar got freaking them obliterated, so they're, they're, they don't exist anymore. That whole freaking planet doesn't exist anymore. That was before Thanos did the snap. He only just did the snap. They fixed that. They didn't even fix Xandar over there, so they're dead. The Collector and Nowhere is destroyed. <laughs> it's like, yeah, knows that is destroyed, but in the other version, Thanos is dead now, so that means that they're safe, they're safe. <laughs> my goodness, I'm like, Thanos, you're a dumbass idiot, what the fuck is wrong with you, he's like, you ruined everything, you dumb bastard, but of course, since this is technically Dragon Ball Z rules, where it's like, look at freaking Cell, this is the real reason why I say it's like this, it's like, look at Cell, Cell decided to kill one of the trunks at one point, take his time machine, go back in time, and absorb Android 17 and 18, so he can be perfect. Does that sound familiar? Hell yes, it does. Thanos did the exact same thing of being like, I'm going to hijack this shit, go into the future or follow wherever they're going, and then I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to freaking do more shit. And it's like, what the frick, dude? It's like, dude, what the frick? And it's very surprising where it's like, didn't Tony destroy all your freaking Shatari bullshit? And it looks like it's no. Not to mention, he had more crap up his sleeve, too. He had freaking some weird dog bastards. And it's like, what the frick? So it's like, he had even more stuff up his sleeve, and apparently he didn't even use that in Endgame at all, either. Apparently. It's like, yeah, they remember? They fleed away instead of being like, we have dog beasts, too. Bring out the dog beast gorillas. It's like, no, they just freaking damn ran away. It's like, you guys had more freaking forces and you ran the fuck away? What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, so, that's the amazing part. And anyway, Thanos is again a big dumbass idiot going back into the future, trying to get the gauntlet. And, well, that was just an amazing thing. That, that was a cool the chase for the gauntlet. That was freaking damn awesome. That was freaking damn awesome, man. And, of course, you had Giant Man. Oh, my gosh. And not to mention, the cool part of awesomeness had to be where, sadly, Tony Stark is down. Thor is down. You only have Captain America. And from some way, some way, shape, or form, Vibranium has been cut by um, Thanos' freaking weapon of choice. And it's like, whoa, whoa, what? I thought you said that vibranium is the strongest metal there is, or basically the strongest metal on Earth. And it's like, okay, apparently not. Yes, his shield has been destroyed. What the frick? So his shield has been destroyed. It's now cut in half, and now you just have to I mean, Captain America standing right there. And again, middle finger to the bastard who actually showed that he's able to wield Mjolnir. Frick you. To the ten hundredth percent. Actually, freak you to the three thousand percent. Thank you. Um. Oh crap, Morgan. Thank you, Morgan, for that. That was a good idea. Three thousand percent. Freak you. <laughs> so, basically, you had freaking Doctor Strange and everyone else just starting open portals, and then here are all the freaking heroes and Avengers. A simple. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. And of course, it's to get the gauntlet because they destroyed one, but thank goodness the freaking van is still alive. So you have that, and they're now able to use the van to teleport. But then Thanos had to be a bastard and destroy that crap. So 
the last trick up his sleeve, and that was cool. Because personally, I was like, Tony, please tell me you had a fail safe for that freaking gauntlet you have. Please tell me you had a fail safe where it's like you could do system command and it shuts down and it allows no gems to be accessed. Please tell me. And that was crazy how Thanos took the power gem and used it to punch Captain Marvel. What the hell? Not to mention that freaking girl power moment. That was freaking awesome as hell. Sorry, Storm. I wish you were in that. That would have been cool if you were in there, Storm. That would have been freaking damn cool. It's okay. Soon. Hopefully soon. Also, you She-Hulk. I know that Universal's a bastard ass, and they're still being bastard asses about this, but someday you're going to be used. Someday you'll be realized, and they'll be good. Someday. <clears throat> With all of that said... The amazing kicker has to be the fact of where Thanos was about to use it, and it turns out that Tony was able to do the switcheroo of where his armor also had a gauntlet. Freak you. And he decided to snap for the second second snap in the movie, and he destroyed all of the forces of Thanos. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he dusted every single thing of Thanos. So... He was a complete dumbass idiot. Mm -hmm. Me, personally, I thought they were just going to be like, well, Thanos, you're a dumbass. We're going to keep you alive, kick you into a freaking portal, and there you go, you're in 2014, all alone with no army or anything. Good luck getting an affinity gauntlet, you bastard. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there you go. So, it actually will help the other world, won't it? It will help the other world. <laughs> the other timeline, that is. Meanwhile, I figured that when it comes to the Gamora, because the Gamora, that timeline, I think everyone who's sided with Thanos gets dusted. I'm pretty sure that Gamora actually just got sent back home. I'm pretty sure she just got sent back home. And it's like, there you go. It's like, yeah, you gotta still send them back home. As for Nebula, Nebula's dead. And of course, well, lots of people are like, well, the Nebula that was in that one, she got killed. She, the one from the 2014 version, she got killed. And it was like, I think that was just a flesh wound at first. But apparently, yeah, she got supremely dusted. That helps make sure that she's dead. And of course, they already mentioned somewhere in the bylines that killing your past self doesn't destroy you. But me personally, I'm like, it's Dragon Ball Z freaking damn rules. There's two two freaking timelines here. The timelines that you took the freaking Infinity Stones from made a brand new timeline. Chances are. It's like either that or it bows itself. But I know the one for 2014, that one just made a brand new timeline. So, yeah, it doesn't actually affect the Nebula here. It's like everything that happened to Nebula, it didn't do anything to her. So that's good. That's very good. So, But Tony Stark dies my goodness i didn't see that coming tony stark dies also let's talk about because lots of people hold on one second i know oh my gosh the voice quality just changed for a moment i need to cut something so it was amazing how when peter parker came back they had a hugging embrace just like in star wars um what was it star wars the force awakens Father embrace. Yep. I really hope that um I really hope that Peter Parker somehow meets Morgan. I'm just saying because it is in some way kind of a brother sister thing. Heck, I really hope that the kid from Iron Man three actually met Morgan. It's like I really hope that they make a family even though they're not siblings. I would hope that maybe they become siblings in some way, shape or form. But I, I don't know. It it depends on what happens. And sadly, when it comes to freaking Sony, Sony's about to pull away Spider-Man. You bastards. You fucking bastards. So anyways, Iron Man is gone. And then all we have left to do is, besides the funeral, and we see that the kid from Iron Man 3, and I called it. I'm like, oh my gosh, is that the kid? Oh my gosh, this kid from Iron Man 3. It's like, oh man, that's so awesome. They they did a lot of good things on it. It's like they did fan service and everything. It's like they did awesome. You you did great. That was that was so beautiful. 
And I'm pretty sure that technically when it comes to, because we don't know if Aunt May and Happy Hogan actually got dusted. So I'm pretty sure that they might have actually stayed five years. And that helps a lot. Where it's like all of a sudden Happy Hogan is now having a relationship with Aunt May. Where it's like, dude, what if they both actually survived all five of those years and they had no choice but each other? So it's kind of funny where Happy Hogan's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And he's like, let's see, uh, well, Tony, no, I say no, Pepper, Pepper's safe, Pepper's okay. Actually, no, no, Pepper has Tony, but Aunt May has no one. And he's like, oh, fuck. And he's like, yes, it's like, I got to do a solid for Peter. I remember that one time that I didn't actually listen to him. And it's like, I got to do him a solid. And that solid turned into a relationship. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm pretty sure that's what happened now. So it now makes sense of where that relationship that happened, where it's like, where where, where did that come from? Is because the five-year gap. That explains it. So it's like thumbs up on that one. And, of course, you know, the whole kids and everything. It's like, I bet there's some kids that actually did survive, and there's some teachers that did survive, and they most likely carried on, and those kids are now able to actually go to college. And <laughs> there's some who are like, what happened to him? It's like, dude. He stayed. He's like, he's one of the ones that actually stayed. Everyone, it's like, so everyone who was a part of Peter's freaking um, um, school, they're able to actually still be with Peter because they got dusted. As for everyone else, there's many others that you don't really care because they have no names and stuff. They most like, there's some of them that moved on and actually are in college where they're like, yeah, that's kind of crazy. It's like I would be in high school, but since the five years, I was able to actually just study my ass off. And <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's freaking funny. Whew. So that's basically the whole entire thing. The only thing to really need to talk about is Steve Rogers and giving the stones back. So he gave all the stones back, which is good. And then he decided to stay. <laughs> and now he's an old man. And it's like, well, that makes sense. And, of course, um, we have another person I actually listen to, which is uh, Rob, a.k.a. Comics Explained. And he's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Captain America changed the course of history now. And it's like, I'm pretty sure he didn't. I'm pretty sure what happens now is very, very simple. Because... Many people would be like, oh my gosh, it's Captain America, but it's like Captain America learned how to actually blend in. He learned how to blend in. So I'm pretty sure that Peggy Carter, she's living with Captain America, even married, but he most likely had a different name. So it's like he had a different name. They most likely married or eloped, and they're just having a good relationship. She's still doing shield work and everything, and they have what they wanted. It's like they have both what they had, what they wanted. Be right back. So, all right, back. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were able to keep it under wraps. She's able to keep it under wraps. There's so many things that we've seen in the Carter, the Agent Carter series that most likely no one knows about. So, pretty sure she's able to straight up keep a straight face when it comes to anything. So, he's not going to reveal to everyone and say, hey... I'm alive. <laughs> it's like, no, no, there's no need for him to do that. Why does he need to do that? He doesn't need to do that. Most likely there might have been some secret missions he did, even though chances are he knows how to preserve the timeline. All he wants to do is just live his life. Isn't that what he said to Tony? So that's what he did. He lived his life. He actually most likely got a normal job and did some stuff, and chances are because S.H.I.E.L.D., he's... They're able to give him a brand new identity, and they lived happily ever after until she most likely died. So it's kind of funny. It's like it's kind of interesting to be like he lived the life, he lived through lots of stuff that happened, like Avengers, and it's like all the Avengers and stuff. We have no idea if he got dusted or not. So it's like it's kind of crazy. I was like, wow, he just stayed there and enjoyed the whole entire thing, and. It's like, what are you expecting them to do? Go out there, too, and fight a little bit? Which is kind of crazy that um, the one, the, I forgot, the Holy One, the, 
ancient one the ancient one she actually fought in avengers holy frick she did she actually defended in avengers she actually defended a few people it's like i love this movie how they showed so many things that they did later on and they incorporated it in so many things and it's like that is so beautiful so freaking beautiful so he gave back all the stones where they belong and most likely stayed in 1970s. That's where he stayed. So that was the last one. And nothing changed. Most likely nothing actually changed. There might have been a little, little bit of tiny, tiny differences, but most likely he said he wants to live his life. He didn't actually want to be a part of anything more anymore because he already did that. So he actually is just living his life. And of course, believe it or not, the super soldier serum it still works, but it fades away. So he became an elderly man. And sadly, he's kind of alone, but he could still most likely do stuff or still can train people and stuff like that. But he lived his life and... <laughs> yeah, so there you go. There, that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. It's just freaking amazing. And of course, last but not least is... The mantle of Captain America was passed, and the one chosen was Sam Wilson. Yeah, it's like, do you think Bucky deserved it? And it's like, yeah, Bucky can get it if he wants. But more than anything, it's like, when Bucky became Captain America, he actually uses guns and stuff. And given, yes, in the 1940s, Cap did use guns, but in the... To, in the 2000s era, he didn't use guns whatsoever. So that means that if you have Bucky using that freaking thing, that's not good. I mean, <laughs> he's like, yes, there's a new Captain America in town, and he used guns. It was like, my goodness. Or you have a new Captain America in town, and he can fly. That, that, that seems much better. That seems freaking out much better. We'll see what happens when Disney Plus gives us a new show for that, too. My goodness. Now, one thing interesting is Vision. Vision is still dead. Well, technically for me, I think Vision could still be okay. But considering that... I was thinking that Tony would have actually fixed Vision by now. And basically in the comic books, from what I've heard from sources, Vision eventually went from what he was using into... Which was, I think it was powered by the Mind Stone. And now he actually used some solar energy. He used solar energy to power up. And I was figuring, that's what you're going to do. You're going to do that. So it's a big head scratcher on, is he really dead or did someone fix him up? And okay, I bet technically Wakanda could have done it. And Wakanda can do it. It's like, yeah, Wakanda could actually resurrect freaking Vision if they want to. The only amazing part is that Actually, they don't have time to even do that because they just came back. So it's like, yeah, so it's interesting. And I kind of like that if they did an ends credit, it would have been cool to do an ends credit to actually add it a new little nod being like, only on Disney Plus, Scarlet Witch and Vision. It's like Vision, we still have no idea if he actually recovered or not. Or this is just going to be a one from back in the day where it's like, yeah, this is like between the times before Endgame. I mean, before Infinity War. It's like, yes, here's them living together on the run and stuff like that. And it's like, nah, I would like to have the later version. It's like, yeah, so it would have been cool to have the ends credit be in Wakanda. Meanwhile, in Wakanda, they actually fix Vision and Vision's now back up and running. And that's what they're doing is that... Now he's running on a decent freaking fuel cell, and there you go. He is back to normal. Instead, we actually get something else, but and it's kind of like the funny thing that's the last thing to talk about, which is there is no ends credit, but they basically did exactly what I said, what I said in the room, where it's like they did Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. They didn't have an ends credit, but you can actually hear something at the end of the movie. And I even said that in the freaking video of what to do next in the sequel. Is that just like, it is funny too. It's like, it's so damn funny because it's like, you didn't go for the head. Exactly what happened in G, G, G Munji, Welcome to the Jungle. He didn't go to the head. Instead, G Munji, remember, it's like for people who don't know, and you can see that video too, shameful plug, but it's like, 
in that video, in the video I talked about, look in the movie. It went from a board game to a cartridge. It went into the freaking game system, and it fused itself with the game system. So, when it comes to striking something down and destroying it, the Jimunji game, not the game system, should have been destroyed. Instead, the freaking kid decided to destroy the game console, but guess what? The cartridge is still untouched. So, that's why you hear the bum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum ba da dum dum bum bum is because you didn't destroy the game cartridge. That's what was Jumanji. What's the game cartridge, not the game system. Same exact deal. Is that, and the last sounds that we heard was, <laughs> sorry, sorry for hitting you. So we heard someone actually using an eye, uh, uh, anvil with a, uh, with a hammer. So someone was building something with iron. So that makes an interesting thing of who is doing that. New person coming soon, aka Irie. I mean, Rini or I for, I'm, I don't remember her name. Damn it, Iron Heart. There you go, Iron Heart. A B Morgan actually is making her own suit, or C is it our poor our beautiful precious kid from iron man 3 is he making his own iron man suit we don't know who is doing it but someone is out there making them own starting their own suit of iron man armor we don't know who's doing it but we have suspects we have at least two suspects plus one wild card that they could do but for right now we do not know also, it's kind of interesting that we don't know who actually... Well, anyways, I'm not going to speak it. I was going to say, oh, but what about the little girl in, on Captain Marvel? Who, which one of those wasn't dusted? It's like, it would be cool that the little girl actually got some powers too. But of course, well, her powers most likely came from a different source or something. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. But, oh man, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to be very interesting, and Peter Quill is going to look for Gamora still. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm sorry, dude, but she wasn't dusted. She was kicked off. Now, that one makes sense of why she won't come back. It's because the Soul Stone got destroyed. There's nothing to trade back. A soul for a soul, right? But someone destroyed it, so there's no way of bringing that soul back for Gamora. So that totally sucks. It's like, poor Peter. He's going to have a broken heart. But it's going to be cool to see Thor. Thor is going to be in <laughs> in Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 3. That's going to be freaky damn awesome. I really can't wait to see that one. That's going to be freaky damn awesome. And that's about it. That's everything that needs to be mentioned about this movie. Yeah, there's really nothing else. I mean, there's some good Easter eggs, like, for instance, in the 1970s, you could actually see Hank Pym with his original Ant-Man helmet. It's like, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. A few people didn't even see it, but I saw it, and I was like, oh, man, cool. I remember that. He's like, I remember that looking helmet. It's like, I remember that. I'd have to admit, it was pretty cool actually seeing how the suits worked when it came to um, the... They didn't really call them the quantum suits, but we're just going to call them quantum suits anyways. Quantum suits, sorry, not quantum, sorry. <laughs> I guess I coined, that, I coined that word years ago, I mean decades ago. I guess I should make sure I patent that word. But anyways, it was cool to just see that that one actually just has a fuel cell where it actually uses Ant-Man technology or pin particles to actually go. And it, it was pretty awesome how that worked out. Oh, I shouldn't leave yet. There's one thing we need to talk about. One thing that hasn't been checked out yet. One thing no one most likely has talked about because they actually just accepted it, but I don't. In the comics, basically when it came to Cataclysm, was it Cataclysm? No, not Cataclysm, it was something else. Anyways, it was before um, the new Civil uh, Secret Wars for Battle World. Before that, we had the freaking arm. <clears throat> we had the Infinity Gauntlet. And the Infinity Gauntlet was used to try to destroy another world. And for that purpose, all the Infinity Gems were destroyed. Except one. And that's the interesting part here where it's like, hold on. So in the comics, 
all the Affinity Stones can be destroyed except for one. And guess which one that is? The Time Stone. So the Time Stone is like, peace out, suckers. I'm not going to get destroyed. And basically, I think the Time Stone is the only way how you can actually re retrieve the other stones, supposedly. So it's like, that's interesting how that goes. So maybe it's like, it depends. It's like, are, is, is like, is it really going to be like the comics where it's like, yep, the time stone has said, peace out. I'm going to go somewhere and you're not going to find me unless you seek me. If that's true, then that means there's one infinity stone left. It's the time stone and it makes perfect sense because, well, the Aya Akamoto still needs to be freaking powered by something, doesn't it? So it makes perfect sense where it's like, yep, the time stone is most likely going to come back. Now, if they prove and it's going to be like years and decades where the time stone don't show itself, then yes, it actually is destroyed. It just depends on how it's going to go. But considering the comic book itself said, dude, when it comes to the destruction of the Infinity Stones... All of them can get destroyed except one. The Time Stone is able to teleport itself from harm's way. So it's like the soul survivor that says, Frick you, I'm not going to get destroyed. I'm the Time Stone. Frick you. He's like, I'm able to teleport. Y'all guys can't freaking damn teleport. I can choose my own damn self if I can die or live. And it teleported itself out saying, Peace to you guys. Here's my middle finger. See ya. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> well, we're going to have to see how that plays out. Personally, I think what's going to happen is that the time zone is most likely it's like, hey, Dr. Strange, sup, man? <laughs> it's like, sup, man, I'm supposed to always be with the Sorcerer Supreme. So I'm in this random freaking mirror world. And well, you found me. I'm back. I'm yours. It's like, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure. But of course. If it turns out it is destroyed, that means that the comic book version of the Time Stone is an OG survivor and better than the Time Stone in the MCU. We're just going to have to see. But anyways, thank you for watching, folks. And I know this was long, but man, I needed to get all that off my chest. Woo! See you guys next time.